The current BC Care card was introduced in 1989. Since then, there have been no significant changes. A lot's happened in that time. Government is taking advantage of improvements in card and chip technology by replacing the existing care card with a new BC Services card. The BC Services card will be available beginning February 15, 2013 and rolled out over five years. There won't be a charge for the BC Services card. But British Columbians aged 19 to 74 will be required to re-enroll in the Medical Services Plan by getting a BC Services card before 2018. Failure to do so could result in the need to pay when you visit your doctor or need other healthcare services. One of the benefits of the re-enrollment process is that you may combine your BC Services card with your driver's license. Re-enrolling is simple. You can re-enroll wherever you would normally go to renew your driver's license. Once you re-enroll, you'll be mailed a BC Services card or a new driver's license and services card with your personal health number on the back. Re-enrolling in the Medical Services Plan every five years keeps your information up to date and ensures the right person gets the right care. Of course, there are exceptions. For practical reasons, not every card will have a photo of the card owner. Exceptions include groups like children under 19, people over 74, and people unable to attend a front counter. Let's use some examples. John's driver's license expires in 2013. So, when John renews his driver's license at the local ICBC driver licensing office, he can re-enroll in MSP and apply for a driver's license with a personal health number. The only charge is the one he would have to pay to renew his driver's license anyway. Janet recently renewed her driver's license and doesn't need to renew it for another five years. But she likes the idea of having a BC Services card. So, Janet can go to an ICBC driver licensing counter to re-enroll in MSP. She will now have a driver's license and a separate BC Services card. No fee, no fuss, just peace of mind. Children don't need to re-enroll and can use their existing care card until they turn 19. At this time, young adults will be eligible for a photo BC Services card. And babies born after 2013 will get a non-photo BC Services card once the birth is registered. The BC Services card will help improve patient safety. It'll help reduce fraud and the potential for identity theft. Improvements include a more secure design, an expiry date, a photo of the card owner, and a chip. Over time, as government services become available online, the card will ensure the same level of security you'd expect with in-person services. For more information, visit bcservicescard.ca.